I just changed my uh, speech last minute because uh, uh, I never had a conference where everything went perfectly fine. And uh, that's kind of how it is like to have a Skype or anything, which is usually the audio that's struggling. So I just wanted to change it into how to sound. And uh, my name is Martin Kral. I might just like wait. I might just change this and so that I can see what I'm doing myself. And is everyone actually being able to hear me well? Do I pronounce it enough? Yes. Uh, is my level of volume good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Fine, fine. It's not too much reverb. Swing and miss. And this is also my Twitter handle. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm trying to figure out a few things because I'm pretty bad at visual stuff. And we're also a little bit late. And also, we don't have a microphone. So, this will be a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you some really cool sounds. It's going to be very amazing. Uh, but uh, I can kind of do it like this and I can describe what I'm hearing. <laughs> through words, which is also very nice. I also have this little bit of rustic, we're going to do some basic sound sound with it, but you can kind of imagine like squelchy sounds. This mustard is very good for that, because it's very, yeah, basically like everyday things you have in your house, in the kitchen, especially, wet stuff. It's good for a lot of cool sounds, actually. So yeah, so this is my name, and let's see if I find this, yeah. Basically, this is kind of a bit like a jam because right now we have to improvise. Uh, we are forming sort of a group. I will be the talk designer and I will first introduce myself and then I want a few questions about who you are just to kind of know what I should talk about. Uh, and I worked on a game called Progress with uh, Tim Garbus and Jon Nystrom. It uh, was just uh, nominated for awards and we won Best Game of the Year from Denmark, which was super fun. It's basically... Uh, like it's a very little game about um, unlocking and solving small puzzles on your phone. Chapters uh, from uh, Norway. And uh, oh yeah, uh, for the sleep right now with Ed Keith from Proteus. Uh, worked on the plan, which two years ago I was here also doing a talk about. It was about minimalism in sound, uh, and I will reference that a bit. And uh, I'm also working with uh, Gunner, which, which is a Swedish game from uh, Ditto. It's kind of cute. Uh, this, and I will also talk a little bit of the sound set because it's quite relevant to jam sound design. Uh, I also worked on uh, yeah, a few others, Tesla Grad from Rain Games. I worked on Among the Sea from uh, Grillbytes. And that's pretty much like what I've done up to this point. I have some other projects that are not really about that. You might not have heard about or I can't talk about them, but yeah. So that was basically me. Uh, I am from Norway, don't hold it against me. Uh, but I would like to know if it, uh, like, who kind of people came to see a talk about sound. Like, there's, are there a few sound people? Like, hands up? Okay. Okay, good. That's a good mix. Yeah, we don't want too many because I'm not going to go too technical and it could be boring. But feel free to also ask me and ask me these difficult questions. What about uh, other people who have never quite done sound but it's intriguing and like, oh, I, I would like to maybe do a few things. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's a good number, yeah. Okay, are there, for the rest of you that didn't hold up a hand, are you just like, did you just come to like throw tomatoes or something, or? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The finish, uh, we meet again. <laughs> but that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, so basically then keep it a bit like to everything. Um, I'll have a cheat sheet coming up, and it will be kind of at the end of the talk, because then you have to sit through the entire thing. <laughs> but it's going to be the most important thing as well, because that would kind of just be like this, 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 this. They're all free. They're all nice to use. I'll basically cover them very quickly and kind of show you what they can do. Um, 
I will basically be also talking about styles mostly, and I'll first be going through, I don't know, a couple of examples. I'll be go first going through like the most famous thing that everyone probably knows, like Super Mario. And uh, kind of uh, by showing that, that a style set of sounds is quite important to the feel of the game. Basically, having no sound at all versus having sound, this makes a pretty big difference, like if you like juice or mood or anything, because it adds like very much with a very little amount of work. Um, and uh, it is, you don't actually need to know that much to get the res achieved result without the, you know, like spending hours on it either. Um, so style. I just wanted to show you like a few things I found on the internet. This is a, this is what realistic Super Mario would sound like. Really nice. So let's see. 
I want that, but I also want a few mutations because let's say, you know, you shouldn't only have one sound. It's nice to have three. So I think I should just choose the mutation. There you go. Got a few extra. Maybe I was like, oh, the frequency is like, ah. I get like a laser. Uh, yeah, this is thing around with this earlier and I'm, I'm a really fan of this because it's kind of you never really know what you're gonna get and that's really fun. It's not fun at the end of a project when you have to make a specific sound and you want to experiment but like in the beginning it's, this is really useful for you guys and you can just basically there's this export wave save and you could also go like crazy. Yeah. So this is actually a very close to a process I'm doing with a game called Gunner. So I can't really show you uh, too much, but basically uh, Gunner is a game made of Ditto and it's kind of cute. Uh, and uh, the whole process for sound for the game is basically like a synthesizer. These are basically various sounds of like different beats. And I just record them and I kind of, uh, let's see now. Can anyone hear it? Okay, no, let's just try it very quickly. So I'll just start recording. And then it's kind of like, you know, you can just kind of... Now I'm just basically going through, like basically everything is recorded over like 10 seconds. And I'm just using like this fast forward button to go like between, between different sounds. And I can record that and suddenly I have like this weird uh, collection of a bit like strange sounds but that works really well. So like the cool thing with this is that uh, wait, wait. Ah. the cool thing with this would be something like um, this is the result of about one uh, hour of having fun with uh, Gunner. So just to kind of hear like the complete randomness, and you can kind of see at some point I have an idea what the sound could be. At other points I'm like I have no clue what this is, but I like it. You know, like um, actually yeah, looped confuse. Uh, while teleporting. We don't have a teleport, I don't think we ever will. But yeah, I don't know. This is actually quite okay naming. Naming is also important. Yeah, I think that was uh, Gunner and... Uh, it, it's, it's this really fun process because it was basically inspired by game jams. Uh, my, my friend was really drunk at home and uh, fell asleep after dinner and I, we were going to go out and drink but then we weren't because he was sleeping. So my son and another friend of mine were making a game and I was like, oh, that's cool. This is a game that doesn't require footstep sounds which I really don't like to work on. So I ran, I ran home and I kind of just started having fun with this because I didn't want a project just, you know, for hire that I wouldn't have any fun with. And yeah, from then on that, that was the start. It was like very jammed and very... Uh, very random, but just fun all the way. Um, and then we have another gameplay uh, example of a jam uh, called uh, Gentle Jousting. This is, of course, a little bit not safe for work. Uh, but I can show you, like, it's basically the same sound over uh, basically like a three weeks difference. This is the first thing we had. Uh, and the sounds are not the same, but just, just kind of stylistically notice how much sounds impact your perception of things and how. This specific case uh, feels a bit weird, whereas the other one I'm going to show you feels a bit less weird and a bit more cute. This is the first kind of thing we have of this game. And again, like, look away if you're not comfortable about the animation of penises, because there will be. And there will be really there will be wet sounds as well. <laughs> okay, this is a really bad example because you can only hear people laughing. <laughs> I just want to show off that my game is funny, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I can show you the proper teaser, which is uh, basically less hand draw, more like cartoony, more cutesy, more play doh -y. And notice, notice the wetness of the sounds. We want them to be really shroppy sh and uh, you know, everything wet and everything kind of, it leaves even a, like a slimy trail. 
We're gonna do it like a safe over work version as well, which then have like cute puppies and like rainbow sounds and stuff like that. But this is like the original idea. <laughs> sudden death and you have more than eight penises in this game, there will be like this kind of stuff. listening to this computer speaking right now. Yeah, and that's basically like very quick to do and it sounds it has a cool texture and it has a cool vibe to it. So I mean if you need narration and you don't find anyone, yeah, go for it, you know. It's good. Let's uh, see now where were we and then yeah also check out free sounds. You just Google it freesound.com or something. It's a lot of free sounds. Uh, it's interesting because you're going to face like this problem like, what do you call the sound that goes <laughs> You know, because most sounds have an aim, and it's very hard to describe when you're searching for it, but that's, that's an interesting thing of, uh, it's an inter interesting thing you actually have fun with, I think. Uh, if you have um, an iPhone, you should have fun with Zapper. I don't want to say too much about it, except it's super fun. You just record things and you can remix them. Uh, it's very, very interesting and it's, uh, it's fun to play with. Basically everything I show you guys is, 
is fairly easy to get and it's free or very cheap. Uh, and of course, you could find someone who sounds like there is uh, the people who had, were doing sounds. Can you just raise your hand again? Okay, because most sound people are very nice people. <laughs> so, so look at these people and just like realize that probably some of them will be working on different projects. And if you if you want to do it yourself and just need a bit of help or wonder, it, you know, I wrote you know export settings 48 kilohertz. Well, if you don't know what that means, but you want help, like, go and find a sound guy and like, hey, I don't know anything, but I want to do something. And they will like, okay, do this, 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 this. And you will be like, a light will go up and you will be wiser. <laughs> um, just like a quick last thing, uh, I'll also put this up while I kind of take questions, I guess. It's going to show a lot of other things, but I think we're late. So we're going to take a few questions for that. But, um, it's, it's the house. This is the worst. Oh, here. Uh, so basically, like the last thing you want to consider when you have sounds is how to make them play well. And it's a very few simple kind of tricks you can do. There you go. Like if you have gun sounds or something, you know, because then you have you can uh, you can risk that you have cool sounds, but it sounds kind of where I guess like this one like this one step <laughs> yeah so basically like this is a if you kind of wanted this to sound good but you didn't have more sound because a you were lazy which is totally fine but the, the good thing is that you can kind of just do this little trick where each time you play sounds, you just make like a like a statement that when sound plays, uh, so you, know, you just make sure that the pitch is called basically pitch and it's basically called volume. It will be a, like a difference between like 0 0.1. So like you just have a basic value of like one pitch which is neutral, and then like a little bit of back and forth. It basically will make it sound a little bit cooler of course, you should have at least three, four sounds to randomize between because that's even better. It will make it sound much more alive, and it can even go deeper, which is a stretch goal. If you want to do something really cool, you have like, you know, if I'm going and let's see, if I had like my keys, which I have, but it's only like two keys, so it doesn't make okay. Yeah. I'm walking right, and you can hear like. So now we have two sounds. If you want to get subtle, you can even use like the silky sounds of my uh, mountain wearing uh, t-shirt, which is like very like swish, swish, very special, very nice. So then you can have three sounds, one subtle, two very clear, and you can have like four of them, like each one, like just randomized. And they will almost never play at the same time, and if you also have a little bit of pitch and volume around the Mayshade station, it will make it even like more uh, just natural, which is a very nice thing. So I actually only have not that much time left. Uh, I can, and I, I want to talk a little bit more about music. Uh, I also want to talk maybe about, I don't know, uh, anything. But is there any questions that specific that people wonder about? Or, yes, you there. I uh, want to bit more is to get a bit of noise in a recorded speech and so on. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that is actually a very good question. And I would recommend just for that, Go to the sound person because there are like um, plenty of things that could help with these things. Like for instance, let's see now. Uh, but some of them are not too good. You know, like they usually call something with uh, uh, denoising or something like that. Uh, wait, I should have found this now. Where's the denoise? It's it's called something with. <coughs> you can like either, you can go for like something like gate, which says that you know every time there is like not speech, you can set like that special cell. Uh, it will just remove all. Of course, it will still keep the sound and the noise when there are spe people speaking. Uh, yeah, I guess I could just uh, oh yeah, I'll just show this one. So like yeah, this is also why we should come to like a sound person because we have these things and gears and probably are quite used to it. Uh, things that would need something like that. Okay. I'm not really sure.
sure but uh, yeah just find someone uh, definitely like if you want to look up uh, just search well the SAP has a noise uh, tool itself and it's not terribly good so if you're having trouble with it that's when you should find a sound person if not uh, default sound noise reduction or uh, something like that it's called something similar uh, or the SAP noise reduction question mark on Google okay. anyone else? Yes. What plugins do you use? Are there something you want to What? Uh, one more time? Uh, plugins for Logic. Are there something you want to Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he yeah, has basically like, uh, I'm using the one thing called Logic, which is um, just like a tool. It's like Unity for audio. Uh, I'm, and I'm, I like using this. It's, it's okay. It does mostly what the same thing as Audacity does. So, I mean, for using something like, I use. These are quite typical plugins because I'm using like a mixture between local ones, like this game here. Like, you know, oh, this is really weird. Okay. This is. Uh, for some reason, my plugins don't show. I hope you can apologize. I hope you can uh, be okay with that. But uh, I, I use a lot of things in Unity. Like, most of the things that come with Unity is good enough. If you, do you know all know Machinarium? Like it's yeah. a game. Mm -hmm. And it's probably like one of my favorite games when it comes mm -hmm. to sound and music. And he'd made everything in Logic with just kind of uh, standard uh, sound things. Uh, and I use like the EQ that's here. I use uh, like a few other weird things. Um, basically this is just me having fun with babies. Like uh, you can kind of hear, this is where I end up. sitting thing else. Like imagine you're drawing something and you take a finger and you kind of like start smudging it. This is a cool smudge tool. Um, this, this takes individual small parts and basically it shuffles them around and it just reverses them and just like it just plays. I think I found out where it actually ended up. Yeah. Like this. There you go. <laughs> Play around basically. It's just it's fun, it's good for town trading and without the sound like this. The guy who made the Fest soundtrack, he made his three first albums in uh, Garage Band, you know. So it's it's kind of it's whatever works, uh, whatever sort of fits you need. I would say Logic is good, like just generally for a lot of things, but Ableton is, I guess, better for uh, playing around with music arrangements. And then you have like something like Pro Tools, which is like if you want to edit stuff and if you want to mix stuff, it's great. But if you want to do stuff that I do with like MIDI functionality, like <coughs> this, for instance, this is also baby crying, by the way. But if you want to do like uh, mini stuff, it's good. it's a bit harder with pro uh, pro tools. Um, yeah, whatever floats your boat. So, anything related to a game jam and audio? Anything you were wondering about for you who are uh, thinking of maybe exploring a bit of sounds? Yes. 
Oh, yeah, no, okay. Um, yeah. So, it is a quarter two, and uh, I just also wanted to show you something very quick about music, because I think we have a very, very quick time for that. Because a cool thing with music is that music can augment, and you can use a lot of music for uh, sound design. Like, for instance, uh, this one here. I think quite a, quite a bit more childish Zelda games are excellent when it comes to that. You know, they have, um, they basically have a lot of um, creativity about You know, it makes you wonder, like, who? Or Sorry about the uh, voice. Or something, I don't know. So basically they're triggering small samples of music to like a kind of chill music track because then it gives you like, in addition to like the ch -ch -ch sounds, you also get like this nice feedback with music which is it's another way to use like uh, work with uh, stuff. It's actually quite easy to just like get a, get a piano or like a MIDI keyboard and just like make a few chords. Make sure that you have an ambience in the background, it's just kind of musical, like kind of basically goes in the same scale. And you can just randomize those again and it will, yeah, basically sound fairly cool, maybe. I mean, it depends on what you make, but uh, as long as you have fun. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's game jams, and I think the, the better you fail, the more you learn, you know? Uh, this is my second talk at Nordic Game uh, Jam, and I was nervous because my second game jam ever, like I just did, was a disaster because I thought this, I was going to do something and I need game jamming. Uh, but it was, it was really, really bad. Uh, but it was good because that's probably the one time I learned the most from. Uh, I tried to do game design and I learned that uh, I should game design and I shouldn't lead any team ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was cool and I got to try that. It was a very cool experience. So for you who want to try sound, definitely try it. It's fun and it's if you do the cheat sheets that I will put up again, it's not that hard. If with Audacity most things goes well. And uh, yeah, go have fun, have a good have a good time jamming. Thank you all for coming. Wait, wait, one last question. One fast question. It's a yes. bit technical, but how would you prepare um, sound samples in terms of volume and uh, compression, for example? Would you rather have something less dynamic? that it's easier to mix with something else or keep the dynamics and... It depends on the game, you know. Like, uh, I think like the easiest thing if you make sure that uh, everything you make of a sound file kind of sounds right volume-wise next to the, all the other sound files because then you can give it to all the people who will be implementing it if you're not doing it and uh, it will save you some hassle because it will kind of be in the same ballpark. Um, I mean, in the beginning I was bad with that, and it just meant that, you know, one extra round of iteration, which, you know, you can save some time by just making sure that this kind of stays the same. I mean, of course, some ambience is good for being very subtle, but you can hear them all if you just, like, play them one at a time. If you want, you want the ambience to be low, you can just export it a bit lower, I guess. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys.